which leads to the discussion I had with someone on Twitter. Don't know who the person is. I don't know who the person is, but I, I think I might find out. But let me, let me see if I can bring it up. Share, share screen. I'm going to get to a lot of the Super Chats after this. Oh, this is how I drive my wife crazy. Forget that. I'll get to that afterwards. Um, who, who's the individual? I think I think people do know who the person is. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Let me see on Rumble if I've missed anything. Sorry, people. Can't wait to get out of this bathroom to get into a proper, well-lit, good sound. Oh, here. Andy Signor, Andy Signor, who is dad, Popcorn Planet Live, Daily News and Pop Culture Justice. Don't know what that means. Oh, yada, yada, yada. Creator Screen Junkies, Honest Trailers. Okay, fine. And by the way, I think I probably like Andy Signor because that right there, that um, banner is from UHF. That was Michael Richards in UHF when he opened up the hose on that kit. UHF is a classic. Weird Al Yankovic, funny enough also, because my wife said I looked like Weird Al Yankovic today with my hair. I think I probably would get along and like Andy Senor, but he says this. Funny to me how so many people, let me rephrase this. Funny to me how so many of the people who refuse to just accept Elliot Page as a man, which he is, have no problem accepting women with big fake tits. Let that sink in before I actually read my response. Sorry, I actually, that, um, this, this, this video might get me. <laughs> okay, let that sink in. And this is, this is the logic. Now, by, by the rules, if the rules are rules and actually not hierarchies, Andy Senor should get canceled. I don't wish it, I'm not even saying, I don't even, this is not a fear I'd wish, this is sarcasm. I, people should not get canceled for their words. Uh, unless the word, you know, unless. You know, run out and shout racial expl expletives, you deserve to get canceled. But he says, I never said, in response to someone else's comment, says, I never said they were the same, but to say they aren't comparable at all is silly. They both involve surgeries that can change one's appearance. Sometimes so well, you can't even tell. One's more accepted. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. When, when, when someone has their breasts uh, done, they don't force a different behavior or speech in other people which might be you know, part of the issue. Many in this thread made it about biology, not me, happy to discuss any time. But I said, you called them big fake tits resulting from surgery, Andy Signor. Following your own logic, you are therefore necessarily suggesting that similarly, Paige is a fake man resulting from surgery. Your own words, your own logic. Your words and logic, not mine. Because this is the one, this is, this is the absurdity that Andy Signor is saying, they're fake boobs. Oh, I would I would have called them breasts or implants just to keep it a little more PG-13. They're fake implants. They can look real. They can be indiscernible to the touch. But the person knows that they're fake or they're implants. And no one would refer to fake implants as implants. Should the person be treated any differently in the day-to-day -day life? No. Now, apply that mutatis mutandis to Paige. Paige can do what Paige wants with Paige's body. That's Paige is an adult. Does that mean that uh, following the fake implants analogy, that the, the woman who got fake implants, I'm now compelled to refer to them as natural when I know that they're fake. Uh, they don't. The woman who has implants, for whatever the reason, you know, fetish. Maybe they thought that she thought they were too small. None of my business. And I, am I going to treat her differently? No. I might think I might think that people who do things to their body to make themselves feel better, I might think there's there might be underlying issues there. But they're adults and that's fine. But no one's going to force me to refer to fake implants as real breasts, period. But following your own analogy, Andy Senor, this is the issue. You have now effectively said, yeah, those are fake tits, using your big fake tits. But nobody has a problem with them. Yeah. But if someone made me say those are real breasts when they're clearly not, then people might have a problem with it. Don't refer to them as fake. They're natural. They're not. Dude, they're not natural. They're like triple D XX, whatever they're called. There's a very material distinction, and it is the distinction. It's not a question of what they are. It's a question of what you are compelling other people to recognize them as. And it's not a question of not respecting their decision. It's their decision. It's not a question of you can feel the way you feel about it. I have, you know, people judge other people for their religion. I don't think it's right, but I'm not going to legislate thought. But that was it. 
so you know by by signor's signor's own rationale and by signor and by the logic of the interwebs that is a cancelable offense because he's recognizing them as big fake tits i don't like i don't i'm, I'm not saying that to be i'm not trying to be um edgy he called them big fake tits resulting from surgery if people were to say uh page is a woman who has had um who has had cosmetic surgery to her body to make her feel better and don't tell me how i have to refer to someone who played a pregnant woman in a movie as her breakout role i don't think anybody would have a problem actually to each their own we all have our we all have our our, our, our vices we all have our preferences it's nobody's business until one person makes it another person's business by telling them what they have to say and how they have to describe them to third parties when they're not even present. Okay. All right. And that's all I have to say about that. But uh, meanwhile, Ruben's back and leave it to Ruben. And that, that's a, it's a, it's a very sassy way sassy, to come back and say, yeah, it, I, I couldn't do it. I'm not sure. I, I I, I may, but maybe one day I'm just going to get so thick skinned and so black pilled. I'm just going to like go, but Dave Rubin's a stand up comic. And that's, that's, I could make the good jokes because good jokes are just contextually, you could draft them to the context. I couldn't say some of the stuff without feeling bad, but I could definitely have the thought of that would be the funny thing to say right now. If I were Joe Rogan, if I were Dave Rubin, if I were, uh, you know, a stand up comic who, 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 who does that. <laughs> no, I'm not becoming Ruben's drone fishing coach. Uh, no, that is not the big news. Uh, Conservative MP Brown, just me, Nicole, just me, Nicole. Don't super chat it. Just put your email address where people can commission. I keep forgetting to do it, and I feel terrible. Just me, Nicole. Uh, it was about I don't know a week and a half ago. Sent me the most beautiful pastel renditions of Pudge and Winston. They were amazing. Just me, Nicole commissions them so put your email out there and i'm gonna i'm gonna remember to do it and when i do it it's gonna be glorious okay i suspect i'm going to get don't do anything that that makes it happen uh point curation only 46 days to get a passport without a good reason if you do meet if you do a meet the fans thing please wait for me texas is the new silicon valley by the way i'll tell you one thing if i ever do anything I will not do it in anywhere on earth that requires a vaccine passport. I will meet in a field in pouring rain before doing that. Hold me to it. I won't need you to hold me to it because I will not do it. Period. Viva, now that you're in the US, I'm going to sue you for making me watch Twitter videos on your show. See you in court, sir. Well, I do know a good lawyer, so let me let me just lawyer up. What do you say? Okay, what you say about others, you say about yourself. Page demands compulsion. Pence asked not to be compelled. These people are monstrously uninformed. What you say about others, you say about yourself. Oh, okay, fine. I'm sorry. I see what you're saying right now. I thought you were talking about me, but you're talking about Page saying he seeks to go control other people's lives. Yeah.